Well, hello again, friends. My name is Reverend Thomas Harper, and I'm the pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. This is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of scripture, unpack it a little bit, talk about what's going on in the context of that scripture, or maybe talk about what that scripture has to do with what's going on in the context of our world today, or just share some thoughts that I have surrounding that scripture. If you're new here, I invite you to take a look around the channel. If you like the content, please click like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot, as well as click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. I post one of these weekly Theistic Reflection videos every single Thursday, and as always, if you think someone might benefit from the content of this specific video, I invite you to share that video with them in order to be a blessing to them. I've entitled this episode, Why Doors Come With Windows. The scripture that I chose for today is Luke 17, verse 1 and 3. Jesus said to his disciples, occasions for stumbling are bound to come. Be on your guard. If another disciple sins, you must rebuke the offender. And if there is repentance, you must forgive them. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. An English Catholic writer, politician, and historian was writing a letter to the Anglican bishop at the time that would go on to become a well-known quote in our vernacular. He said, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. He would go on to say the great men are almost always bad men, even when they exercise influence and not authority. History is the arbiter of controversy, the monarch of all that she surveys. And unfortunately, I think this is true. I think the reason why this quote has become famous from Lord Acton is because we see that to be true in our society. That whenever humans end up having power, that tends to lead us on towards temptation, which tends to lead us on towards, unfortunately, corruption. That power left unchecked will inevitably lead to not good things. That's why our political structure is set up the way it is in our country. That's why we have checks and balances. Uh, that's why we have accountability. And ultimately, I think that is why doors have windows on them because not so great things can happen behind closed doors if there is no one there to hold the people accountable for what's taking place behind them. And one of the struggles for us as Christians is we don't want to think that we would be subject to that. We don't want to think that we would fall under the same temptation of being corrupted through power. And in a way, the enemy kind of uses that to our disadvantage. Because rather than being open with our struggles, rather than being honest to other people about the things that are tempting us, we want to internalize those things and pretend like they're just not there. Uh, so that we can look like we have it together. But here's the problem. When we do that, not only are we lying to other people about our own journey, we're also lying to ourselves. We're also setting ourselves up to be a stumbling block for others when we fall. And we all know of instances when some great Christian leaders have fallen under this same trap of power and temptation and corruption. And when a person, a public person of faith falls, oh, what a mighty fall that is. But as Christians, we shouldn't approach closed doors and temptations in a secretive sort of way. Jesus in this scripture is telling us that temptation is inevitable. Temptation comes to everyone. And so shine a light on the temptation. Have accountability in the areas that you struggle with. Uh, in order to protect yourself and to protect the people around you. And so accountability is so very important in our lives. As Christians, we should all have people to whom we can be accountable to, uh, whether that is a best friend, whether that's a family member, whether that is your spouse. Uh, it, there are people that are allowed to have access to even the deepest, darkest parts of our lives so that we can hold each other up so that we can sharpen one another, so that we can shine light on the darkest places in our hearts. So we need accountability in our lives uh, because it's important. It protects ourselves just as windows on our office doors protect ourselves from the things that might be taking place inside. And so here's the question that I want you to ponder. 
Is there someone to whom you can be fully held accountable? Is there someone in your life that you can go to and share some of your deepest temptations with um, in order to bring that to light? Sin has a way of not being as powerful once you shine light on it. And if you don't, and that's not a relationship that just pops up out of nowhere, I invite you to start praying for God, to find a friend or maybe a family member or just a person in your life. Uh, and maybe it's not all of your life, but maybe it's just this one area of your life that you need to be able to talk about with someone. You need to be able to shine some light on it with someone because uh, accountability is a great way of protecting ourselves. And so ask God for that. And maybe uh, you have messed up. <laughs> maybe you have had your moments where you have given into temptation, you have given into corruption, and you have felt like you have fallen mightily. If that's the case, I invite you to watch this episode. It's an episode I did that was called God Recommissions Us. And it's really all about uh, talking about when we fall, uh, especially those who are called fall, um, God doesn't just give up on us. God doesn't just say, okay, you blew it and I'm moving on. God recommissions us. And so if that's where you may be in life, I invite you to watch this episode uh, if you're interested. Next week, I'm going to talk about do not miss the moments. If you're in the Bryan College Station area, I invite you to take a look at us. We have a worship service every single Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We also live stream on Facebook here uh, so you can kind of get an idea of different past services that we've done or check out some more of these videos um, and kind of get an idea of what we are about. Uh, but if you do come in person, uh, we'd love to get to know you, uh, love to share in life and ministry with you and just uh, walk down this path of life together. But until next time, friends, um, remember the importance of accountability. Uh, remember that Jesus doesn't just warn us that temptations are possible. Jesus warns us that temptations are inevitable. And so protect one another, friends. Uh, shine light on the darkest places of your life through accountability so that you may live well. Until then, friends, continue to love each other well. Take care.